We're all familiar with play stopping because of rain at tournaments like Wimbledon. Would you believe it? It's pouring! Doesn't look like second match point is going to happen. Have you ever thought about stopping play because of the heat? The Empire suspended the game. It's just too hot. So imagine a tennis player playing on a hot summer day at the Australian Open on centre court. When people are exposed to heat stress, what a lot of people don't realise is that the temperature is only one of four environmental parameters that define their risk. You've got temperature, humidity, mean radiant temperature and wind speed. Humans are pretty good at regulating their body temperature. At rest, we sit at around about 37 degrees Celsius and we can tolerate increases in body temperature of two or even three degrees Celsius quite safely, particularly if you're an athlete. But eventually we'll get into a situation where there's risk of heat related illnesses such as heat exhaustion which is characterized by things like nausea vomiting and dizziness this really impairs the ability of an athlete to continue it affects their ability to perform at the highest level what sports organizers can do is really think about leveraging the latest science and the technology to keep the players cool and safe despite the hot environment. We want to support people in the community to continue to play the sports that they love as safely as possible in a hotter future.